Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. And today we have the whiskey.com awards of January 2023. My name is Ben Nick Luning. I'm the master taster of whiskey.com. This is Horst Luning, my father, and he's the senior taster of whiskey.com. And I did a little change with the awards. And what we did is we actually did a little bit of a sequence in the awards. We have a little podium where we have the gold award, the silver award and the bronze award. And yeah, the gold award is the best whiskey of the month. And the others are yeah, in that respective order. But we're also going to have nominations because the how good the whiskies are for a month, that varies quite a lot with what you get over the month. Maybe we have one month where you don't even have a, a bronze award. Or a gold. <laughs> or, or gold. <laughs> that would be really bad. <laughs> but uh, in most months, we also have a little bit more. So what we have is nomination. So when we have the discussion of which ones do we eliminate, uh, they easily go the first ones. But then there were like four at the, at the end. Um, we had a little bit of discussion. And the Ben Riach 16 just didn't just make it. It was just the others were better, but it has an honorable mention. It got nominated for the whiskey.com award January 2023. Yeah, but it's yeah. 16 years of age and costs around 60, uh, 80 euros, mm -hmm. dollars, pounds. So it's not too expensive for a 16 year old. Yeah, yeah. I tried it. Uh, it's a triple cask matured or three cast mature, they say here. A little bit of smoke in it, but a lot of fruitiness, fresh fruitiness, a lot of apple in it. That's what I've written down. That's what I can still a bit remember of that. And it's a, a nice, strong flavored whiskey. So yeah, I really like, loved, would love to have it on the podium, but hmm, there's only place for three. So talking about three, third place goes to Aberfeldy 18 Bulgari. That is a... Uh, I think it's a French red wine. We French red wine. Uh, okay. Yeah. Uh, Finnish, I think. And Abafaldi mm -hmm. have been or uh, was very, very famous for its 18 year old. Um, but then they sold so many of those 18 year old bottles that they reduced the size to 0.5 liters. Mm -hmm. And now they come back again with these finished bottles. We have the second one very close in the in the finish, the 15 year old, but it didn't made it uh, in contrast to the 18 year old. It's definitely the better one. Mm -hmm. And uh, this is priced in the 60s, I think. Yeah, yeah around. Pretty mm -hmm. good for an 18 year old uh, Aberfeldy, also with the limited edition. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, okay. Next one was a bottle I had. You uh, got a non scotch one. Yeah, it's called the Pocono. Pokemon, <laughs> Pocono, and it's a discovery and it's a whiskey from New Zealand from the Northern Ireland, a young one, just three years. And it's from first fill bourbon and sherry casks and is for a non-age statement whiskey. So ripe, so full, so mature. Uh, it's very, very yeah, intense and uh, the bottle itself we decided just to put the bottles here on the podium. It's quite tall. It's quite tall. And uh, yeah, I think it's it's worth a silver award. Yeah, nice. Sounds really nice. And I'm really excited that we don't have just Scotsman on the podium. <laughs> uh, the last one is a really, really good one. It's the Glen Scotia 18 years old. It's a, a very strong, spicy, yeah, here it says aromatic and spicy. And that's really the, the, yeah, the main consequence of that whiskey. It's very strong. It's rough. It's yeah. Old school Campbelltown whiskeys. And yeah, you don't get these Campbelltown whiskeys a lot these days. Yeah. So it's a little asymmetrical, yeah, yeah. isn't it? But it's, uh, it's quite <laughs> expensive. This one is the 100, uh, 128, uh, 50 in f with us uh, in Germany. And yeah, it will be around that over the old world mm. as well, I guess. Depends on the taxes where you live. Mm. Very strong, nice whiskey. We, we didn't try this together, did we? No, no, no okay. I hadn't had that. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I do know that the Glen Scotia, Glen Scotia whiskey is quite, uh, quite good. And it's 46 ABV. Hmm? Yeah. Hmm. 
Yeah, so this is the Gold Award January ah, 2023. Here refill bourbon barrels and refill American oak hogsheads with a 12 month finish in first fill Oloroso casks. Mm -hmm. so, well, that's a good combination. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, that was it with our whiskey.com awards 2023. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.